Hi, this is Joe from MBS Australia. This is a quick video in MBS Chorus showing you how to do five things, uh, inviting team members, using the updates, um, adding notes, checking the guidance, and also using the audit trail. So as previously, my project here is 55 Beach Street. First of all, the specifications are listed here. The tab next to it is for adding team members. You can use the button here to invite users and just type in email addresses here, for example, so I can include my colleague, Mike. Um, then define all the things down here as shown so what project role they should have can be administrator contributor reader or limited and you can do that by each actual specification as well so you can decide what what power they have to add to the actual specification or just to read it and then finally you can just add in a small message to that person if you want to say anything to them as they go so on to uh, the updates we go back into my specifications and in terms of updates, the um, MBS expert team in Newcastle, New South Wales, are constantly uh, checking all the content that we have in MBS. Um, so you'll see the updates tab here, which you can click into. So all this is doing is um, showing where there's been any changes to any of the content. So I'll check it on this one. It will give you a traffic light system in terms of uh, green, amber, and red just to show what's changed, for example, here. Uh, the road title requirement has been revised so just small changes saying there's nothing huge for you to, to to need to know in too much detail just telling you what's changed there and over here in guidance just means something within this whole guidance panel has been changed or amended nothing too serious on that one uh, for example the verification of compliance with execution again some orange items to say something has been changed often the suggestions have been revised if i click on this one for example in method it means the suggestions here have been revised, these four. Then down the bottom, you can see a green one, which just says uh, this has been added as a completely new entry. So you can check the updates anytime. Good to keep your eye on them. It will typically just build up a little bit in the background if, if you have a project open for several months. Um, also, the notes function. There would usually be notes here, for example. So if I had to go back into my actual content, and um, perhaps in the wall tiling systems, if I was changing this particular clause it operates on a clause itself so once you enter into notes you're adding a note into this particular clause the overall system so that's where i could put my my note here and then send it now that's going to be always associated with this clause so when anyone else is looking at this specification they'll see this note on the side so if i navigate back you can also see that in terms of the tabs here that's just been added so you can check who's added what notes and for what particular things that can be uh, in-house within your design team or perhaps for um, any suppliers or sub-consultants if you invite them to the project as we showed earlier um, in terms of guidance um, i'll use the gypsum board partition systems here enter into that clause and the guidance is really handy on the right hand side here always got lots of good information from the mbs content team telling you basically how to specify this overall system, lots of hints and lots of uh, standards to, to check on. This also relates to an actual clause. If I was to click on the standard gypsum plasterboard, it also takes you down to the suggestions for what plasterboard you could add, and therefore lots of extra things about the fasteners here and the finish. So lots of good content there for you to check. Uh, the final thing to show is the audit trail. It's extremely handy when you have a few people dipping into the project. Um, if you want to check who's changed things and uh, and when that happened as well, you can use the three dots up here and tick show the latest last edited details. That shows a small grey addition here to say what was changed and when. So if I'm to enter into this clause and just hover over something, I can see it was me back on the 13th of November last year. And then if you've added something else into these clauses, you can see five months ago, it's keeping a good track of who's changed which part of the clause. So very handy if you're tracking within your team.